That's a surprise, isn't it? That yeah, it goes back to the because here. It That's right. And you, you might you might want to arpeggiate in places like this where it's sustained. Arpeggiating in chorale sections like this because it, it dissipates rhythm. But think of it for what it is. Arpeggiation is an ornament, like vibrato, like ornamentation, like accent. Yeah. Maybe that one deserves that attention. And and I here's why. Actually because of that one. Because there's the resolution. That's what I'm thinking. You've got you can repeat that repeats and then mm -hmm. so I think to me my mind the statement is uh, all about that note leaving us out in outer space we don't know where we're going with it doesn't help us. The bass actually makes it more unstable. Mm -hmm. So I would make it even the rhythm is unstable now because I arpeggiated it. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and hold that. Again, we don't know where it's going because I broke away. and then Almost there. It's almost resolved. Right? Mm -hmm. So to me this section that's unstable is almost without time. Mm -hmm. And time get we feel resolution not only because this passage returns, but it returns with movement again. Yeah. Does that make sense? To yeah. Could you try that? So the A sharp is just hanging up there. Not even with um, not even with the benefit of harmony at first, right? So da because it's this it doesn't begin with the chord actually it begins da, da, da. that's the motif the bass comes in it doesn't help us it makes it worse he tries again he's trying again to resolve it almost there see now we find But the middle part has to feel like not home. Like this, this cry in the wilderness. This, this one note, and the, you think harmony is there to help you. It repeats that again, but with a chord. Uh, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. More unstable. Stop. I would break. There. Leave everyone hanging. Then he tries again. Can we try? I know I'm throwing a lot at you to think about and change. Yeah. <coughs> but could you try this section mm -hmm. with a block of color be consistent? And when you change, consistent with that choice of tone. Somebody would do a breath mark there. I would do that. Yeah. yeah. Then this stands alone.
but it's what's interesting again is you know the character of the beginning established, and then there's we move away from that security of this really warm, happy uh, corral. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so warm, it just envelops you. And then there's this moment when it, the, the rug was pulled out. You just have this. Listen to that note now, and compared to where we were, right? That's how far out. Yeah. Away from the tonality, away from home, and that's why I think these breaks are really important. That each time it's it's restated alone, no resonance. Mm -hmm. You really feel the loss and the separation from the from the tonality, and he works his way back. But when it's back, the last time it's minor. <laughs> I try to find a way to make people cry. And you delay, by doing that, you delay what everybody's going to expect anyway. You get so much in the moment that it takes, the actual real return takes everybody by surprise. <laughs> So could you do that again and then bring us really back, take the recapitulation. From the whole part? Yeah, and just remember this, you're mm -hmm. hitting for this minor. the mood. Yeah. We know you know the fingerings. I, I, I changed the fingering recently, <laughs> so that's why I am. It's almost like a, a it's a real romantic piece. 
I mean, in the Romantic era, mm -hmm. um, Schumann-esque, I think, in a lot of qualities. And, and in the way of this, now the way you're playing that opening, it's, um, it's, it has this bright bounce that you, you have, you give to it, very rhythmic, bouncy, moving. But there's a little danger in it now that wasn't before. And I think that's because of that room section. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. It's like something's not really safe about that. For me. And I didn't get that the first time. It's, it's really different. I don't know if you like that or not. But, um, <coughs> I think there's a lot to get out of listening to each harmony. Mm -hmm. Where are they going? What's the, what's the purpose of it? Yeah, even if you play the same way, uh, it makes a different sense after you, you hear the middle part. Yeah, it, it inevitably changes this. Yeah. Yeah, that middle part's so important. <coughs> yeah. Was there anything about this that uh, you wanted me to address? No, I, I changed some fingerings recently and I. Some of them uh, uh, I just saw with, with Mr. Alves yesterday, so I didn't have the time to, oh, to okay. change well, it. So it. You did great. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, but, yeah, <coughs> no, I guess that my my main concern was with the, the this middle section that I was, I'm still in the process of knowing how to, how to do these changes and mm -hmm. to express this, this harmony. But I think it's well, yeah. okay. So you're exploring. That's good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Well, thanks. Right. Well, thank, thank you. you.